Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use permissions in your module. So permissions allow users to access different parts of the site, different functionality, and perform different functions um, according to uh, the level at which they should interact with the site. So uh, one example is that you don't want every user to be able to delete a node, so you give certain users administer node permission, and by doing so, those users can delete a node, but other users can't. And uh, so it's a way to sort of constrict users to a certain range of motion. So uh, the idea of adding permissions to your module is uh, using the security principle of fewest keys necessary. So um, you want to give somebody as little uh, access to the inner workings of your site as they absolutely need. So. Um, in most cases, you don't need to give your users uh, administer nodes permission because uh, they're just not going to be deleting anything. Or maybe they just need access to delete their own content. Um, but but if, if someone might not, you know, probably won't be using that permission, then it's, there's no reason to give it to them. And by giving it to them, you open up a potential security risk because then you have somebody out there who has the permission um, and that user account can be exploited, etc. So uh, it's a good idea to use permissions in your module. Um, you know, you have the option of using permissions that are set by other modules already. And in some cases, that makes sense. But in a lot of cases, it's good to set your own. Um, and that's for a couple reasons. One is that you then control the granularity of uh, permissions in your module. So you know what should be accessible in your module and what shouldn't be. And so you can set those permissions uh, to match up with that directly. When another module, if another module, say, changes the way they use permissions um, and maybe sort of broadens the scope of what a certain permission can do, then that will uh, inadvertently affect your module. So by keeping your, just using your, your permissions, uh, you maintain a little bit more control. And uh, uh, one thing to note as we, uh, as I show you some examples is that permissions... Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.